So imagine treating chronic pain without drugs. That's right. A Long Island neurosurgeon helped develop a tiny device, no bigger than a quarter, that zaps away the pain. Fox 5's Teresa Priolo introduces us to bioelectric medicine in this month's Big Idea. Bioelectronic medicine is a big idea. It's not some future sci-fi story. This is happening now. Imagine a world without rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, asthma, obesity, Alzheimer's, lupus. Every day, close to a billion people suffer from these inflammatory diseases. But what if they didn't have to? Or what if their suffering could be mitigated? One Long Island neurosurgeon, Dr. Kevin Tracy, is making significant strides towards doing just that. We're very early in this field. It's a new field called bioelectronic medicine, but the hope and promise is significant. Bioelectronic medicine, not an innovation, but a revolution. Its concept is simple. Use an electrical current to trick the body into healing itself. Bioelectronic medicine holds the promise of treating a variety of diseases and illnesses. But how do you go from the hope that you can improve lives to the device that actually makes it happen? Well, that work happens here at the labs at the Feinstein Institute. At the end of the day, we are helping the human body to understand what different challenges are there and then to differentiate between different challenges and perform better. All this work hinges on the understanding of how the body processes inflammation on a molecular level. You need some inflammation to heal wounds and to recover from injury or infection. The problem comes if there's too much inflammation. What Dr. Tracy's team has been working on for the last 15 years with the help of pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline has culminated in this, a device no larger than your average over-the-counter pain medication. That's the whole thing. That's the battery. That's the lead. That is the computer chip. Small but mighty, this can literally reroute the neural pathways of sick patients. And how? By tapping into the vagus nerve, the body's information superhighway, located on the left side of the neck. It works just like a pacemaker. Dr. Tracy's idea essentially hits the off switch on the vagus nerve, causing it to turn off its inflammatory response. The hope and promise of devices like this is that we can reactivate the signals that have failed and treat the disease. The research on bioelectronics is largely conducted out of the Feinstein Labs, but the actual device is being engineered by California's Setpoint Medical, a company co-founded by Dr. Tracy. The Anthony Arnold is president and CEO of Setpoint. And it really is a life and game changing therapy we're excited to be developing. Setpoint is also responsible for the clinical trials. So far, 18 patients have been treated in Europe, where the pathway to regulation is quicker and easier. Most of those patients had successful outcomes. Some had very remarkable um, uh, near remission of disease. Including one man whose identity is not publicly known, but his story was chronicled in Scientific American. Dr. Tracy met him this past November in Bosnia. Left with no medical options, he enrolled in Setpoint's trial and... It was amazing because he felt so much better uh, within weeks that he went from essentially being homebound on his couch to being very physically active. However promising, this device can have some adverse effects. Some patients are hoarse for a few days after the surgery. That tends to go away pretty quickly. All told, this device and the theory of bioelectronics appears to be a game changer. I think in 10 or 20 years, devices will be so small that they'll be implanted either by in injecting them through small needles uh, or even uh, potentially by, by rubbing them on through the skin. What's more, they'll be controlled by your doctor through your smartphone or computer. Now that's a big idea. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.